in mind. Katamari Damashi, part two, two hours, 11 minutes, zero fails so far. Arguably, you could you could say I failed the bear one or some or some minor or some major, whatever it is, because um, I just immediately rolled up a bear and that was the win condition for the level is give, get me the biggest bear you can find. And I just picked up, I got the smallest bear I could find. But hey, it, it didn't fail me, so sure. So this is still zero. Um, and then 11, 11 stages completed so far in this one. Um, so... Let's uh, hop into it, shall we? Okay. That's true. It was the, the largest bear within eyesight. Okay. All right, so even the the memory card load screen is cute in this. <laughs> All right, continue. Yep, it's a continuation of the banana game. So I put a limiter on the uh, the audio that you guys hear for the game. So it shouldn't be deafening you. It is currently deafening me though. <laughs> I'm gonna turn that one down. 15 decibels for me. <laughs> For whatever reason, they made the intro to this game just really loud. Okay. All right. This is a jam. That's that's true. All right. So we could we can wear a crown, or we could wear this. Where'd the scarf go? Winter scarf, crown. Let's go with the scarf. It is winter. All right, so we got a we got a scarf on the prince here. <sighs> okay. So I know last time I I accidentally exited Gemini before getting credit for it. So let's actually do it. I I know it is Shed Talk, but I. I did some testing before the stream, and unfortunately, this is like the best, the best setup I can do for, for this. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, fine. All right, I'll turn it down. Two decibels, because it's like it's it's such a razor thin margin for my setup. For like, if I turn it down too much, you literally can't hear me. And if I turn it up to an audible level, it, it distorts a little bit, like, <laughs> So, this, I was actually messing with this today for an hour, trying to get it, uh, to a working state. And I did test recordings and everything with my normal speaking voice, and it, it didn't distort, but for whatever reason, when I'm actually streaming, it, it starts distorting. Ugh. Audio is hard, you guys. But I always appreciate audio feedback. This is also why audio engineers exist. <laughs> for, uh... For live video productions. Yeah, and, and that's usually like the go-to of, um... Whenever you're setting levels for somebody speaking, when they're, they're doing testing, it's always like 20% lower. Um. But I, I try to get it right, because I, like, I watched VODs of some people 
on YouTube and like I have to crank up every single thing in my speaker tool chain to just barely be able to hear them or the game. <laughs> so everybody has problems like this. But I try to skew on the on the upper range rather than being too quiet, you know. Hey, GG. Hey, okay, so it's going good. Going good. Had a productive day and starting early here with some uh, Katamari and looking forward to my first playthrough of Zelda Link to the Past later. Well, it wasn't just one long audio testing thing. Like I would, I would start a recording, um, change some settings, and then stop the recording, and then listen back to it, and just rinse and repeat. <laughs> and I did that for about an hour. But that was that was while I was preparing dinner and and eating dinner, so I wasn't just doing that. Okay. So the objective for this level is to collect as many twins as you can. And anything can be a twin. <laughs> Pretty much at this level. Fire Emblem. Oh man. Yeah, those, those games are stressful. Uh, up until, I guess, the recent ones because of the whole permadeath mechanic. Be like, uh oh, we lost one character. Time to redo the entire battle, or not? I guess unless you, if you wanted to <laughs> play it hardcore mode, I guess. Like I, I don't know. I, I kind of don't like that that permadeath mechanic. I guess it makes you more invested in your characters, but at the same time, it's like, well, the player has the option to just reload their save, you know. <laughs> so that's something I've always found a little weird with with Fire Emblem. Um, so in the lower left-hand corner, it actually says, um, older brother or younger brother in parentheses. Like right there, older sister, crab. <laughs> so we got older crab, older sister, and younger sister. And then that's how you know it's a, uh, it's a pair. So if I roll up something that... There you go, sheep, older brother. Yeah. Like it, it deletes your save file or something, or... I don't know, it's... It's weird how stuff like that would have to be handled. You know? And it all comes down to, like, how the player wants wants to play the game. Like, if they want to play it as actual permadeath, then they can. And they can choose not to, you know, save scum to keep their characters. <laughs> Because, yeah, I think the, um... The only Fire Emblem that I put significant time into, I think, was the GameCube one. One of the GameCube ones, if there are multiple of them. Because I think one of my buddies in college was convincing me to, to give that one a try. And... Um, I'm still not a huge fan of, of strategy RPGs that much, so... It all kind of rests on... Um, it all kind of come down to like how uh, how is everything else in the games rather than just the the strategy and all that. Um, yeah, Shining Force is on the on the to do list. I remember watching Bowie speedrun that. Shining Force Two was his jam. Uh, Yeah, 
Yeah. Plus, like, usually in, um, in something like that, you have, like, I think, I think in Fire Emblem, you have a main character, quote-unquote, and if they die, then it's just, it's game over completely, if they die. Um, and I think that might also apply to other, like, story-critical characters. And then the, kind of the rest of the characters, it's like, oh, okay, well, they just don't get a line of dialogue for the rest of the game, you know? So I think that's, that's how those games handle it. Um. Though I think that that's also usually the case with a lot of strategy RPGs like that. Of like, you have the mission objective screen at the start of each scenario. Um, and it's, it's like, okay, objective one, defeat the enemy. Objective two, main character cannot die. <laughs> and that's typically how those go. Oh, one's here. Hey, at the Burglar Brothers. Yeah, and that's that's kind of the the choice that you need to make in strategy RPGs like that. Of like, am I just gonna have one super OP character, or is everybody gonna be relatively equal capability? You know. <laughs> yep, Roy is Roy is not our boy. And blame Smash Brothers for that. So despite my kind of dislike for a lot of strategy RPGs, stuff like that, I am really looking forward to the um, the Advance Wars uh, Switch port slash kind of remake remaster. Because I, I really like Advance Wars. And it sounds like there's uh, a decent amount of work was put into, uh, into those. going to exit to the menu here. This is what didn't give me credit last time. <laughs> well, Shining Force also has, like, the, um, the exploration segments between battles, though, right? Which I don't think uh, Fire Emblem really got until later games? Still a mystery. Beyond comprehension, a thing of wonder. We'll take the mystery rainbow back. Mysterious. Mysterious indeed. Really identical. Utterly identical. 79 pairs, all alike and similar. Well, as mysterious as our existence, of course. Let's just release it into the sky. Alright, it's time to feel the universe. Oh, I feel it. I feel the cosmos. LCC. All right. Oh. Well, I think it the first game sold a lot <laughs> is probably why that exists. <laughs> and it, it doesn't otherwise have a, a re-release. 
I think this was just a very calculated decision by Namco. <laughs> Um, all right, let's make Taurus. It got away. To tell you the truth, we were also making a constellation. Taurus, to be exact. A parent that leaves all the work to the child, that looks bad. That'd be yes. We we're finally done, and the last one gets away. The last cow ran away. Shoot, stupid cow. You're sick of it. I'll just go roll up one cow. Roll up your present too? Okay, so this is like the bear one. Okay, this time I'll actually try and get the biggest, the biggest cow. Okay. I smell a cow always moving noisy things. Hurry up and start rolling. Just one, one cow. We're just missing one last cow. Give us the largest cow you can find. Be patient for 10 minutes. We'll leave you to your work. That's a milk carton. <laughs> what? How is that a cow? What? A microscopic cow. We didn't lose a teeny tiny cow like this. Fine, we'll somehow make a Taurus. I, okay, I guess there is one on the label. Alright, fine. A deafening move. Sure. Alright, I feel the cosmos coming from this incredible constellation. Oh, I feel it. I feel the cosmos. Right. Okay. Sure. All right. Uh, have you ever been to Russia? We were there yesterday. I hope you can visit during the days rolling like that's possible. Oh yes, almost forgot. A royal present for the hardworking prince, that's what we were thinking, but we didn't bother to get one. We're sure there's something down there, something that looks like a present. It's Earth after all, they have everything. Roll it up while you're at it. Okay. Uh-oh. Today, you'll be rolling around the town. Katamari should be a juicy 12 meters. We believe in you for 18 minutes. Any longer, even the King of Cosmos can't be expected to wait. Bed raggled prince. Alright, so we gotta go from 10 centimeters to 12 meters. We're big enough to deal with pigeons.
Jesus. Nope. Five centimeters. Not quite there yet. All right, now we can get these pigeons. All right, pigeons. Forty-five centimeters. We're sure you can go larger. Oh no. Alright, this pickaxe is a problem. Alright, we can solve our pickaxe problem with more pickaxes. quite big enough for the bushes yet. Eat it when they clip into the into the level. 1.5 meters. Way through there. those bushes yet.
All right, now we're talking. Guardrails. I wish I could do something with my my e skateboard. But the battery for it is just completely dead. And there's no way to replace the battery in it. So it's like. <laughs> I can't even use it as a regular skateboard either. Because the, uh, uh, the motors in it basically seize when there's no power applied to it. So <laughs> it's like. God. This thousand dollar e skateboard is completely worthless. Yeah, well, all the pretty much all the e skateboards are like that, and it's not like the company went under or anything. They just don't support their old boards anymore. <laughs> so it's like, uh, I don't, I don't trust buying anything from them. I'm not gonna buy anything from them ever again. And then it's also like. One of the things keeping me from getting a, an electric bike, electric bicycle, is that, like, eventually that, uh, that, um, that battery's gonna go bad, and then, and then just completely useless, you know? But at least with, with bicycles, you can still use them as a bicycle when it's not, uh, not powered. But the same cannot be said for electric skateboards, unfortunately. Five meters, this one's not as big as we thought it would be either. Okay. Should be able to pick up a small car somewhere. Because, like, I was thinking, um, if slash when I ever get an electric bicycle, I would probably have to, um, have the charger plugged into a smart outlet and write a script for it and figure out, like, um, how many watts it pulls during each stage of, um, charging so that it can automatically stop powering it. Um, stop charging the battery at like 80% just to make it last as long as possible Because it's so stupid. They don't let you automatically do a battery saver mode like you would in a phone Like on my phone, I never get above 85% on that thing just so that the battery lasts longer But for stuff like like e-bikes, e-skateboards, you can't really do that. Alright, we can get trees now. The end is in sight. Alright, objective complete. What a nice Katamari plump, yet with an air of melancholy. But we'll let have a much bigger burstingly full Katamari. Alright, let's do that.
All right, now we're getting big. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is the real Katamari now. All right, so here's the city where we started. The size of a rat. big bounce house. We still can't get the big bounce house. We get the gas station, though. Alright, I'm sure we have gotten almost everything on the map. get the balloon yet. Alright, Jumping Bear Castle. Got it. The final boss. And we got angels around us now. Which I think the angels mean that's like that beats the record or something. whole minutes left okay to home planet circle this should bring me to the results screen okay 25 meters 24 centimeters 9 millimeters we are moved to tears by the size of this thing this is so incredible happy happy so happy we want to turn into a star right now here's our royal present it's a spatula it looks like guess what guess what this is I think that you collected the most of his plants. Earth really is full of things. Okay. All right, oxygen star. Oh, we didn't get the the go fast shooting star. Than I expected these space rockets, and so nice. Now I want to be an astronaut too. Oh, I'm sure your father would be pleased. Speaking of your father, where can he be? <laughs> yeah, we got the gamer star. That that might as well have been the crowning achievement of the game. All right, so we got make a star nine and make a Virgo. Hmm, it's lacking a certain something. A real present? No, that's not it. Oh yes, we get it. Prettiness. The sky is not pretty at all. Rough and masculine, possibly sweaty. What we really want is pure girlish prettiness. There should be loads of maidens like that on Earth. We have to roll up the biggest maiden we can find. Oh, be still my heart. The earth is full of maidens, pretty maidens. This is another lucky day for the prince. Days like this don't come along often. 
Roll up as many as you can and make as maiden-rich a Katamari as you can. A beautiful constellation for a super fab pretty sky. Is she going to clip right through me? Oh. <laughs> She's... <laughs> All right. Most Earth maidens are easily bored, so you only have 10 minutes. We look forward to it, Frisky Prince. And we get this banger to go along with it. I'll take it. Somehow I got six maidens already. Oh, Hina dolls, okay. Sure. Precious. Todd Howard would never allow this. Got a revenge here. Got her. Yeah, the little little lakeside area. Like they get a lot of mileage out of some of these areas. Boots are quaint.
Yeah. <laughs> and some of the some of the sound effects in this can be a bit much. Get the meat in the statue now. Hundred and fifty five maidens. Can't get over that still. There is a stack of stuff. Uh, in like a pipe? Somewhere over here, over here. Behind all these boats. Like surely there's something, something back here. Come on, come on, there we go. Oh, there's a present, okay. Okay, pretty sure I did okay on this one.
Oh, be still my heart. We must hurry or the maidens will be bored. Quickly, quickly. We'll take the pretty rainbow back. We admit defeat. We believed ourselves invincible when it came to prettiness, but nothing can compare to this Katamari. 191 maidens. It's just crazy, maiden crazy. Our eyes have been opened. There's always someone better. No one can stay just pretty, sigh. We're one step closer to the finest starry sky there is. Here, our royal present. It's an apron, I guess? Guess what? Alrighty, let's just release it into the sky. Ninety-five percent. Not bad. Not a hundred, but not bad. Oh, I feel it. I feel the cosmos. Virgo is back. The constellation of love. So pretty. Yep. Make a star nine. Lion Banu. Have you ever been to Mongolia? We were there yesterday. We hope you can visit during the days rolling like that's possible. Oh yes, almost forgot. Royal present for you on Space Mushroom. That's what you're thinking. We dropped it on Earth. Got a new one, so the one on Earth is yours. You must be around here somewhere. Roll it up while you're at it. Today, you'll be rolling around the world. Katamari should be 30 meters. We believe you can do it in 18 minutes, otherwise we can't be expected to wait. Look forward to a nice Katamari underachieving prince. That's what they were designed for. But not anymore. Got him. Up 
Alright, sign, let me through. Sign. <laughs> Alright, you win this battle, sign. I'll be back. Yeah, like everything about it. It just. It's the brain. Just right. Alright, perfect. Gameplay, the visuals, the sound, well, the music at least. Maybe not the sound, but. Three meters, still just a baby. Oops, I can. Okay. Pleasant sound. Okay. Yeah. Like there... There should be a better mechanism in this for becoming unstuck. Now we're, <laughs> now we're moving. All right, 12 meters, still in diapers. Well, 
Well, the the only thing the the dash accomplishes is just it it collides you faster with whatever you're stuck on. So it, it eventually gets you through. get buildings now. Okay. Okay, I should be able to get these. Okay. Nothing but pleasant sounds. Okay, 30 meters. What a nice Katamari. Aggressive yet good natured. We'd love a much bigger Katamari. yet no Here's the park, here's where we started.
Okay, so at this in this level they don't let you roll up islands just yet. Okay. Alright. Fifty-five meters, sixty centimeters, two millimeters. Remove the tears by the size of this thing. This is so incredible, happy, happy, so happy. I'm gonna turn into a star right now. You did that fast, you did that goal awfully fast. That was fantastic, so speedy, boom. Uh, plants, vehicles, and work vehicles. And houses. Sure. Ecology star. And the fall comet. called off. There's no launch today. Oh no, after we came all this way to see your launch. Well, the moon's disappeared. <laughs> My word, it really is gone. Let me see, let me see. I want to see. Uh-oh, the moon's gone. That's a problem. Hey. Eh. North Star, make the moon. All right, North Star. For some reason, I don't feel comfortable at all. Is it because our royal present is missing? No, that's not it. Oh yes, we get it. There's no center, there's no belly button. There is nothing solid in the center of the sky. That's why it's unstable, off kilter, undignified, and preposterous. Oh, we remember now, it's the North Star. Who knows why, but make it exactly 10 meters. The closer it is to 10 meters, the brighter a North Star it will be. But there's a catch, or maybe two. How big the Katamari is to start with, nobody knows. But we will show you what 10 meters looks like. Ready? 3, 2, 1. So it's like two-thirds the size of the screen, I guess. Very, very simple. We think of Katamari's 10 meters, summon us with the square button. Much is expected of you, Prince of Diffidence. Okay. Oh my god, it's a great start. This is a great start. Not like this is timed, but...
the 10 meters. That's probably about the size where you can start picking up buildings. That's like 30 ish feet. We're probably about the, the size of this this tree here. Should be about 10 meters. Be great if I can get up the staircase. getting close. I, I think we're about, we're maybe 20 meters right now. Surely with those... Uh, we're probably at like 20... 28. Need a little bit more. I think, I think this is about 30. Okay, let's see. We're not certain, we're not at all sure. I don't know, that, that looks like 30 to me. What we got? Now real, seven meters, 72 centimeters? Oh. Well, I was most of the way there. We rushed it life in a very too fast lane. We'll just manage to turn into a star, but it'll make a puny North Star at best. I'm a little closer next time. Alright, well. It didn't fail me, so. North Star, we did it. Oh, I feel it. I hear the cosmos. The North Star is finally back. I'll never be lost again. Okay, this should be the final level here. Make the moon. Salutan, you know Esperanto. Maybe we'll invent a cosmic Esperanto. Oh yes, almost forgot. A royal present for the hardworking prince, but we felt bashful about handing it to you, so we left it on Earth for you to pick up. You can roll it up while you're making the moon. Okay. 
Today, you'll be rolling around the world. Katamari should be a smooth 300 meters. Okay. You can believe in you for 25 minutes in Earth time, but any longer than that, even the king of all cosmos can't be expected to wait. We look forward to a nice Katamari Kalo Prince. Do it. Oh, it's not hard. They give you 25 minutes to do it. This might actually be like the easiest level. Come on now. Come on now. Uh oh, we can't pick up the American. <laughs> That's pretty great. <laughs> yep, get wrecked, Americans. Yep. Uh. Three meters, still just a baby. And anytime it, it blanks out the screen like that, it's it's loading and unloading things in the background. pick up any of that.
Okay, five meters should be able to get through. Uh, it says Damacy. Adamari Damacy is the official TTS pronunciation. We gotta head to the next area. Okay, 12 meters is... Please. Feels like we're missing an audio track. <laughs> All right, please. I think this might be an issue with the, uh, running the game off of, uh, hard drive on my PS2. <laughs> it just kind of stopped playing music. Because I don't remember it doing this in, uh, playing off disc. Oh, okay. I guess it is intended. Old meters still barely crawling. We gotta get up to 300. But once you get up, past a certain size. Things go up very quickly. Yeah. That's likely the case. How could you ever get tired of this banger, though? Now that I think about it, it just it just came to me what this game reminds me of in a way. It reminds me of No One Can Stop Mr. Domino, especially this last stage. Because that game had like very different gameplay, but like similar weirdness vibes and low poly count, stylized Japanese everyday stuff. Yeah, what a, a weird game.
60 meters for that. Sixty meters, still just a toddler. So you're already at 60, 64 meters, and we're just <laughs> getting like a meter per pickup. And we got twelve minutes left. And then once it starts letting you pick up islands like this, then that is the, the way to efficiently get big. Yeah, we love Katamari. I remember having some actually difficult requirements and some. Which is probably another reason why I didn't like that one anywhere near as much. Because he was like, I actually have to try <laughs> in this rather than just enjoy the game. Hmm, 200 meters, still just a preschooler.
There we go. Easy. Seven minutes left. Oh, what a nice Katamari. So pleasant and dreamy. We would love to have a much bigger, more spectacular Katamari. We'll lead you to it. TTS said G G G G, -G <laughs> for that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's like some of these, it's really hard to tell, like, at what size can I even get this? And then will the will the collision even let me pick it up, even if I am the right size? I think this this is also a uh, a game that benefits greatly from widescreen. <laughs> what at this point, like a large percentage of the screen is taken up by the Katamari. I suppose I could use the the jump function for the first time in the game, but it doesn't really help here. And you can first person. Probably get these storms. Again. Yep. All right. I'm gonna let the timer expire on this one. I don't want any menu mishaps here, considering how long this level is. And then I think we get to hear the incredible ending song to this game.
Let's see what you did there. Alright, 850. I'm not sure if this level wraps around or if there's just an invincible wall here. Okay, it does wrap around. I guess that's probably an efficient way to do this is to just keep boosting and, and wrapping around. And you, you will eventually get everything. Oh, there's there's a cooldown for uh Oh I see yeah the, the cheeks get red. Huff. Okay, there's the huff. Ah, okay. But for a normal playthrough, like, I, I almost never use the, the boost. Okay. Ha! It's floating, but it's not a dream. 870 meters, 08 centimeters, 2 millimeters. How supple the silhouette, how substantial heft. This mellifluous mood and the rising tide of familial love. We are moved. Oh, so fast. 18 minute achievement. What is that speed? We cannot handle it. We must split. If we do not split, we'll drop dead. Here, this is our world present. Guess what? It's a King of All Cosmos mask. Plants, nature, and industry. My Earth really does have a lot of things. We'll now release the moon into the sky. Okay. A moon. And the chlorophyll comet. We are exhausted. The sky is done, the sky is complete. You, we are tired. Rolling a katamari is very hard. He didn't do anything. Right, Prince? Wasn't it hard, wasn't it? Nah, eh, not really. Well, it was hard for us as well. To watch it from the cosmos was very hard. So, so boring. Half asleep we were. Ah, we can finally go home. Finally sleep in bed. Today will be a party day, especially since the Prince is finally two centimeters taller. We must celebrate. Mother, we need cake.
Yes. Fantastic. Wow, we all got rolled into the Katamari and now we're on a lunar family vacation. The stars sure are pretty. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Hey, Dark Gucci. Okay. So I think that was okay. So you get so if you if you beat the speed run time, um, it gives you eternal mode for that stage. So I only have it for some of these. Um, so that that's kind of incentive for uh, 
for beating some of these um, quickly. Because, yeah, it's a, sometimes it's just fun to just go into a level with no timer and see what you can do, you know? Circle the Moon Memorial. Oh, okay. If you want to watch all the incredible cutscenes. <laughs> Uh, alright, R1 Sound Library, and then you just got the whole, whole soundtrack here. Uh... All the bangers in this. Okay. Neat. Uh, and I think that's all of that. So presents that we got, there we go. Got that, we got a guitar, we got a running top. Er, scarf, brown, guitar. Beautiful. And then over here I think is the multiplayer. Um, so as you clear stages you get, you get more cousins. And these are for uh, two-player mode. Dip. Uh, both the same size. You are the bigger one. Sure. Um, so yeah, this is this is what the multiplayer, or how you get to it in this one. And then I think the we love Katamari. The gameplay for that is like collecting cousins, I think, rather than like presents or. Um, Remaking stars or something. I think that's what the gameplay of the sequel is. So neat. Um, okay. All right. Let's take a look here. Since this is a PS2 game. Let's take a look at the save icon for this, which I'm pretty sure it's a, uh, I think it's just the prince, the prince, either that or it's a, um, or it's one of the Katamari ball things for the save icon. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Prince on the Katamari ball, that is your save game data. And there's no difference in the animations for copy or delete for this. This is what you get, but hey, that's <laughs> pretty much that might as well have been the um might as well have been the, the game asset there for uh, for that. Um okay. Alrighty. Katamari complete. Just under four hours for that one. All right, let's wrap up Katamari here. Okay. All right, Katamari. Four hours, two sittings, zero deaths, 18 saves. Complete. Cheated? No. Shouldn't really have to cheat in this one to at least see the ending. <laughs> Um, things I liked. Extremely unique gameplay. Like there's nothing, nothing like it then, and nothing like it since. Like this is Katamari Damacy is like is one of one. There, people haven't even tried to really imitate this kind of game because y you just can't. <laughs> you just can't. You know. Um. Like, I, I guess, like, the closest thing might be physics-based puzzlers, I guess, um, that came out after this, because, uh, like, you, you couldn't do extensive physics games until, like, mid-2000s, let's say, starting with, like, Half-Life 2 is kind of where we started getting proper physics simulations in games. Um... So I guess that would be kind of a, a logical extension of this kind of game, but still, for 2004 when it came out, just amazing, amazing what they did with it. Um, nice clean art style, 
So like kind of by necessity, they had to make everything low poly and super stylized just because there's so much stuff on screen uh, that needed to be loaded in and out quickly and efficiently to, uh, to keep the game moving. Um, and I think it, it looks really cool. It's a really cool look to it. That's uh, again, you don't really see um, as as like the big big publisher games tend to go towards realism and all that. Um, and even in in PS2's life cycle, you're starting to get games that were trying to go for photorealistic, and then you get cool, super stylized stuff like this. And like both are fine, but it's a lot easier to make stylized look good rather than trying and failing to make something look photorealistic on a PS2. You know. Um, so stuff like this always wins out for me. Um, fantastic soundtrack. Nothing but bangers. Uh, yeah, just wow. Like I, I, I put a, uh, a playlist on my computer today of the Katamari music and listened to that this afternoon while I was working on stuff. And man, a lot of great stuff in it. Um... Let's see. Uh, just fun to play. Like that's that's something you kind of take for granted in games for like what you're what you're coming from, um, what you're going for in a game. Whether you want to be have a really compelling story, uh, really great graphics. Um, this game went for let's make a fun game, and they absolutely nailed it. Like this, I, I played through this game, got at least five or six times now at this point, and it's it's still fun every single time that I do it. Even though I'm doing literally the same thing every time I play play through the game, it's not like I'm setting challenges for myself or speed running or anything like that. I'm just playing it casually, and every time it's great. <laughs> it is always a delight playing through this one. Um, so that I can't say that for a lot of games, though, you know. Um, so the fact that this game can still be fresh and fun after all those playthroughs and all these years, that says a lot about this game. Um, let's see. Lots of replay value. So due to the kind of the nature of this game of like high score for time and size, um, there's, there's certainly a lot there for the player to... Um, aspire towards and and yeah when this game came out this was a budget game in terms of price um, that's one of the reasons why I went out and bought it like literally the same day that I heard about this game because it was like okay yeah this game looks really cool and it's got great music and this this preview video that I'm seeing and then at the end of it the host mentions oh by the way this game's $30 or $20 whatever it was and I grabbed my keys and I was out the door. All the <laughs> going to the GameStop or whatever it was at the time. Um, like it, it's so cool that they made this really, really cool experimental game, um, and then brand new, brand new in the U.S. just made it twenty bucks. Like, man, crazy, crazy that they they pulled it off. Because um, like the equivalent nowadays would be like an indie release, download only release. That's uh, that's a banger. Um, and is really cheap. Like, I guess the, the today's analog would probably be Vampire Survivors, because that game's like $3, and you can get a bunch of replay value out of it. Um, and, and all that, so, sure. But Vampire Survivors is not this. <laughs> also, that, that's an indie game. This, this was from Namco. Namco had the balls to put this one out for 20 bucks. Like, I don't know if it's because they didn't think very highly of the game, um, and they just wanted to wanted to move units for this. Um, but man, they they probably could have charged double for what they did, and people probably still would have bought this game just based off of word, word of mouth and seeing it because it's it's what a great game. Um, let's see uh, things I did not like. Occasionally, the physics can't even. Um, I wish there was more difficulty options. Because it feels like a lot of these levels are just a little too easy. Um, oh, they did jack up the price later? Nice. <laughs> 
Yeah, so the initial run was cheap. Um, might have just been the stores, yeah. Well, like, plus it might have been, like, a scarcity thing of, like, okay, we only printed a million units at, or half a million or whatever, at $20, and then we're not making any more. And then it turns into, like, a Guitar Man situation of, like, hey, you could have got this new for 50 bucks, but because there's only, like, 10,000 copies that exist, each copy is now worth a lot more secondhand. <laughs> um, so it, it could have been a situation like that, but... I have a feeling Namco wanted to print money with, with new units, so that's probably what they did. It's right, true. Um, not much else to criticize with this game, to be honest. Um, so, sure. Alright. <laughs> uh, Dank memes, the whole game. DMB, no. Alamows, there is a UFO in the final stage, I think. I think. I can't remember for sure, though. And maybe the, the kaijus? Do the kaijus count as aliens? They probably do. Let, let's see ya. Let's see ya. Uh, okay, difficulty easy to hard. Um, I played this game quite a few times over the years. Uh, even when I first had the game and, and never played it, I don't remember having that much difficulty in... Uh, in getting through this game like i don't i don't think i was ever even tempted to get out the dr game shark for katamari damashi and i i still don't see a need to you know um so yeah this yeah this this one's a one <laughs> this one's a little too easy i wish there was um like some additional challenge modes or something that uh that you could do i i, I know the player can just challenge themselves and say I, I want to do the level in four minutes rather than 20 but um, it would have been nice to have more built into the game official stuff for for things like that because um, I know there are there is like stuff like the speed run comets and all that as well and I think I got them in about a third of the stages but but what I mean is more of like um, failure conditions I guess is how I would put it um, as optional things like, it's fine to have the, the main missions, story missions, be um, accessible and fairly easy to clear. Um, but it would have been nice to have just a little bit more there. Um, and, like, maybe cut the multiplayer or for more of that. Because, honestly, this this is more a single-player game more than for the multiplayer. Um, so, yeah, I, I just feel it's way too easy. Uh, all right. Boom. Self-explanatory. Enough said. Katamari Damacy, done in two sittings, four hours, zero deaths, 18 saves. This game is great. What a great game. <laughs>